Welcome back to the Eyewitness Morning News on WWL-TV, the most awarded station in Louisiana. Well, we may start noticing lower prices as the country battles a wave of inflation. Experts say higher interest rates are increasing the U.S. dollar's value. That's expected to drive down the cost of some imported goods. But there's no timetable on when we'll start seeing those lower prices. Just last month, the national inflation rate rose over 9%, which is the highest it's been since 1981. As a way to stay afloat, many companies are shrinking the size of their products, but selling them for the same price. It's called shrinkflation. It's something we've been talking about recently. And the this morning, we're getting a better understanding of the effects of both inflation and shrinkflation. We're joined by financial expert Chris Murkowski on Murkowski Investments. And thank you so much for being with us to discuss this. Good morning. It's a pleasure. Good morning. It's hardly a day now that we go without talking about inflation. Do you think we've seen the worst of it? I do think we've kind of hit a peak level. Uh, I really do. But even if it comes down uh, several percentage points, it's going to take a while to work its way through the system, and it's still too high. Um, we've got a long way to go to the downside. I mean, again, I, I understand what it's like for everybody out there. You go to the pump, you go to the grocery store, you feel like you're getting punched in the belly uh, on a regular basis. And this is kind of bringing the entire mood of the country uh, down. I mean, it's very, very difficult. There was actually a poll that was done where Americans feel this is the worst economy they've ever seen. Now, that's not true. You can go back to 2008, 2009, where the unemployment rate was through the roof and people are getting, you know, losing their homes left, right, and all over the place. But it's that constant feeling of what did I, what was I paying a year ago and what am I paying right now? Mm -hmm. And of course, the Fed has been raising interest rates to try to offset this inflation. Tell us how that helps and then the trickle effects that that has. Well, one of the, the basic inflation is the fact that you've got too much money chasing too few goods. And over the past uh, few years, going back to the Trump administration, through the Biden administration, uh, we printed a ton of money. Uh, the government has spent a ton of money. And it's, again, that flows into the system and it chases too few goods. That's one aspect of inflation. We've also got supply chain issues. We've also got the fact that um, we decided to go in a certain direction when it came to energy here in this country, which has driven energy crisis, uh, prices up. It's, it's not just Vladimir Putin and what's happening in the Ukraine. So you, you put all of these things together and this is what we're dealing with right now. Uh, in my opinion, you know, I think if we get the government to step back a little bit when it comes to regulations, when it allow the energy companies to go out there and do what they need to do, allow home builders uh, to go out there, reduce their regulations, so maybe to drive ho uh, housing prices down to a greater degree, this will be helpful. All right, and let's talk about a recession because it's something all experts, I think, have an opinion on whether or not we're getting close to one or, or could we reverse things and not see a recession? Well, I, I think the important thing that people need to realize is that what is, an, what is a recession? Uh, there's a myriad of different things. The, the NBER, it's a bunch of economists from Cambridge, they call it. If you get two quarters of ne a negative economic growth, we've already had one, that is, meets one of the criteria for being in a recession. However, um, we're in this period of time where we've got the slowing growth, yet uh, unemployment rates are, are very, very low. And still, you've got uh, over two job openings for every one person person that is looking for work at this point in time. So will they or will they not call it? I would tell people to avoid trying to pay attention whether we're in a recession or not. What's going on in your household? What's going on in your business? Use recessions, use slowdowns, whatever you want to call what we're in right now as an opportunity to take a look at your household. Where can you save some money? Maybe cut back on a subscription or to your business. What's working? What's not working? So then you come on the other side of these slowdowns stronger than you were coming in. And you, you spoke of businesses. Let's talk about this idea of shrinkflation. How popular is this getting in and help people understand what it is? Certain companies are they're doing this simply because their costs have risen. May, you know, take a couple chips out of the potato chip bag. Other companies are raising prices to some degree. We've seen it all. Uh, it, it's all about balance. Uh, when things turn in the opposite direction, we'll start seeing on the outside of certain packages, new and larger package and they'll start marketing that to an effect. They have to manage their costs. And you have to you know, try to think about it in terms of, okay, you got a, a, you know, a, a truck full of potato chips that cost a certain amount of money to move from the factory to the grocery stores a year and a half ago. How much more does that cost right now? All of this has to be priced into the actual potato chips. Right, Chris, I'm not gonna notice if they keep some of my dishwashing liquid, but if they keep some of my chips, I definitely want something <laughs> to change. Thank you for being with us for this conversation. Thank you. All right, take care.